Alright guys, this is Flappy Butt with more How to Survive. Oh, there he is. Go back. And flashlight. Anything I do want around here? Well, from medicine. Flint. I'll loot the area. Want a tough cocktail? We need a bottle of fuel in the rag. Come get me. Well, the thing about getting me, what I'm going to do is combine some stuff. I've got a flexi stick. Combine this. Make me my bow. And. Uh, combine that way. Stream of hook. Do for now. Right, actually, right, uh, speak. Welcome to Comac Land. If I knew I had company, I would have cleaned up a little. As I said, it's basic, but it's been enough to help me survive so far. Anyway, let's get started. You've got a lot to learn and not a lot of time, so pay attention. What? What? Who's listening? Okay, what we got now? We can have look arrow, quick aim. I think we do that one. Or oh, food. Need to be shitty. And this will fall hand my bow. Okay. Guess I lost that arrow. I can hear but not see you. Oh, we've got another book up you there. think these mutant zombies are your worst enemies? Nope. You are your own worst oh, enemy. So so in this book. Skin all shriveled, muscles weak, hands shaking. This isn't a zombie's fault, it's your fault. When was the last time you ate? I know. Now you think about it, it's obvious. You have to eat. That's the topic of the sixth chapter of my book. In time, you will thank me for this advice. But first, you've got to get some food. I'm not going to just give it to you, though. Why not? You've got to fend for yourself. You can find plenty of food around here, once you know how to spot it. For instance, see those woods? There are plenty of roots to eat in there. Try, go towards the headland. Find two or three roots to eat. You will feel better right away. If you need more information, just refer to my book. Each chapter gives you critical information, which will help keep you alive. 
Be vigilant. Infected soldiers may be in this area. Understand? They are hungry too. So, kill them before they kill you. Okay, let's eat some boots. Oh, uh, buddy! I'm here! Still hungry? Find more roots! I want you back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, a helmet. You guys read. Can I equip the helmet or Let's read the manual? Kovac's mm. rules. Kovac. Chapter six. Eating. If you wish to have a chance at defeating the zombies, you have to take care of your body's basic needs. The basis of all survival is drinking, eating, and sleeping. This chapter is about eating. Lack of food means no energy, and no energy means you won't have the strength to fight zombies. Yeah. In this environment, you can find many roots to eat. You can also fish, and you can hunt for meat. Never ever eat uncooked meat. It will kill you. Okay. Uncooked meat here is full of many deadly parasites. Always cook meat before eating. Finally, hey. remember that fresh meat is a magnet for predators around here. Fresh meat will attract zombies. You have been warned. Okay, okay. So let's eat. So. Ah, cool. Yeah, let's just bite the helmet. There you go. Still a bit hungry, but not as close as I was. I've got a cool helmet. Can't be bad, can it? Next. Getting better. Good. You must remember to eat. Food is strength, and strength is survival. Follow me. You still have more to learn. A lot more. If you don't mind me saying so. Yep, yeah, enough. Lead the way. I don't mind. As long as you get some more cool stuff about it, like my helmet. Yeah. The second thing, hydration. In other words, drink water. Lots of it. I have been. Without water, you won't be able to run, and your performance will be poor. So remember, drink. Chapter 7 of my guide refers to thirst. If I do say so myself, this survival guide of mine, you can't live without it. Probably not. <laughs> Here, chapter 7. It's all in there if you need a refresher. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, time for you to quench your thirst. There is an old well on the northwest of the island. Find it, take a drink, and come back. Okay. The water there is pure. No zombie juice in it. <laughs> Joking aside, be careful. Wild animals roam there. They think the water is theirs and theirs alone. Okay. First.
Right over there. There's a weight limit. Oh, baby boy! Oh crap! Thank God he won't switch weapons. Damn. Oh, shitty. Uh, Made some more arrows. Yeah. Uh, map. Nice bit more. Hey. Hey. Hey, that's an arm. Hello. Sick. Shield potion. Kovacs rules. Chapter seven. Drinking. If you wish to have a chance at defeating the zombies, you have to take care of your body's basic needs. The basis of all survival is drinking, eating, and sleeping. Yeah, he said that. This chapter is about drinking. Symptoms from lack of water include dizziness and headaches. This will affect your ability to concentrate and make critical decisions. Hey, Joe. Do not drink from the sea. It causes dehydration. Do not drink from the swamp. It is riddled with disease. Okay. Find fresh water wells and store as much as you can. You will find many containers here. Use them to store water. No, I can use containers, can you I? You will find some fresh fruit growing. You can eat this, but be careful about how much. A survivor with the shits is not the best. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I can fill up stuff. So another one then. There we go. Well, uh, I couldn't see any uh, berry bushes. Uh, over here. Hungry well game. Yet, you seem breathless. Clearly, you found trouble as well as water. Are for the course, my friend. Which reminds me, you need to learn how to make your own equipment. Come, my workshop is just here. Ooh, very nice. Hit the way. And sharpen up this machete would be nice. Or something. Learn how to fish would be nice. Handmade fast shotgun, look at this. I've got enough here for it actually. I have. Check in here. Well, that's not difficult, is it? Uh, 
has to survive. Kovacs rules. Chapter 8. Handmade guns. You must improvise to survive. It is possible to create your own weapons using spare parts and other tools. The better your weapon, the better your chances of killing the zombies. You can and should combine found objects to create deadlier weapons. To make a shotgun, select a harpoon grip from your stuff. Choose Combine and select the Diving Tank. You now have a new item, but it is not a complete weapon. Combine this item with a flared tube and next with a hardware box. You have created your very own shotgun. For ammunition, metal scrap found on dead bodies will be okay. There are many ways you can combine items, but choose wisely. <laughs> I should have expected it to run out of fuel then. Have a shotgun. Welcome to the Kovacs workshop. You like it? You should. There's tons of useful stuff in here. First, you must forage. Search everywhere, even the dead. Items you find may be useful. With the things you find, you can make other things. Things that keep you alive. What at first seems useless could well be useful. This will all become clear very soon. Today, I'll teach you how to craft a shotgun using a harpoon grip, a flared tube, and a few other bits and pieces. Can I? I am a master at this, making junk useful. Very useful. Stay focused while I show you how to do it. Who do you have? Okay, pick up all the things on the workbench. Now, make me a gun. And I, I will check your work, so make sure it's good enough. Good luck! Yes, about. No, no, not like it. No. Good. Now, of course, with some additional parts, it could be improved. Nevertheless, for a first try, it's not bad. Let's put your new weapon to the test, my friend. Want to see if it really works? No. Over it. Fertilizer. Right, well, that's what's in there. The third most important danger is fatigue. Exhaustion will kill you. It'll cause you to make mistakes. If you don't rest when your body needs it, you won't be able to function. Running when exhausted? Almost impossible. Of course, you can't sleep if you are not tired. I see it like this. When it comes to surviving, your body is the boss. Yes, it oh, is. Oh, one thing. As I said in my book, you cannot sleep just anywhere. By now, you should have figured out that it's too dangerous. Really? To sleep safely, you need to find one of my secure shacks. Chances are, you will have to clean up. There is a secure shack on the east of the island. Your task is this. Find it, clear it out, then take a nap. Of course, you will need ammunition. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Yeah. 
Bam. Bravo. Flint, flint is useful. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's read this, because I want to hear about this. Last time I did it, I set up the alarm. Kovacs rules. Chapter 9. Resting. If you wish to have a chance at defeating the zombies, you have to take care of your body's basic needs. The basis of all survival is drinking, eating, and sleeping. This chapter is about resting. To survive day after day, it's imperative to rest. You should not sleep by day and night, but when fatigue is felt, The more you are tired, the more your stamina decreases. You must sleep to replenish your vitality. But you cannot sleep anywhere. It's too dangerous. You must find a safe place where you can rest easy. There are many secure shacks you can sleep in safely. But they will need to be cleaned out before you can rest. Hello. Actually, I want to see if I can make a, a uh, fishing connection on here. And I combine this. Combine with this. Make a fishing rod. Let that go in a minute. Oh, we load. Hey, I close the door. <laughs> we close the door. Am I missing something stupid? Press in F. And I heal it, which is nice. I'm not a lot. Okay. 
so efficient. Guys, pretty hungry. I think there's some water down here. Okay. So we get some more fish. A lot better. Perfect. Ha! You look younger. The miracle of sleep. Fascinating. Mission complete. Yeah. Your training is complete for now, but I need my shotgun back. What? Sorry, but this stuff is mine, not yours. You must find your own. In exchange, I'll give you a special gift. What can you give me? Uh -huh. Thank you. As promised, here is your special gift. The first piece of your first handmade gun. Feel free to search around my dumpsters for the parts you'll need to complete your gun. You will find the blueprint of the gun and a compressor close to my trailer, parked at the hilltop of the camp. It's up to you how you customize it, though. Uh -huh. What's with the monkeys? Once you're armed, you should return back to your friend. Or you can stay here and explore my island if you want. The offer is always there. You may meet some of my loyal friends, the monkeys. They are often found around here. Be good to them, they will be good to you. Hey, it's up to you. No pressure. Please, don't hesitate to come back to see me. I like helping you. Good oh. luck, survivor. I'll give me the shotgun then. Uh, so next time we go speak to the monkeys, but this is it for now, so bye bye.